Okay, so what we're going to talk about now is our nebulizer. So this is something at a national level you're taught as a BLS skill, but this is a lot of places where um, it will be kind of agency dependent whether or not your medical director um, will allow you to do this. So we'll show you how to do it, assemble it, it's easy to use. And this is, again, we'll talk more when we do our pharmacology. So when we're looking at a nebulizer, um, you know, at a BLS level, we're looking at albuterol. So we're looking at a bronchodilator, so somebody who has asthma, um, uh, chronic bronchitis, COPD, um, now, when they're having that bronchospasm, we're looking to give them this medication. It's going to work on the smooth muscle, so it's the beta-2 receptors on the bronchioles. And now what it does is it relaxes that smooth muscle that now is constricted and that is narrowing these airway passages. So now what we're doing is we're trying to get this medication, and by giving it through a nebulizer, what we're going to do is we're going to use our oxygen to help aerosolize. So when we look at this, there's two different ways that we can administer a nebulizer. We have a handheld device, which I'll show you how to assemble, and then we have a mask. So if the patient's able to hold it and put it in and out, they're, they're probably fine to use the handheld device. If we have someone who's kind of tiring um, or is, is also kind of approaching now kind of more of that respiratory you know, distress, um, we're looking at you know, maybe putting them on the mask so now they're, they're not having to focus on holding it. Okay, so what we have here is, this is our chamber. So I've already put in a little bit of saline. So this is just so for demonstration so we can see how it aerosolizes and mist. So this is where now the albuterol will come in a little bullet and we'll go over that in our pharmacology. And this is where now this comes in, it fills up our chamber and we attach this, okay? This end here is where our oxygen is going to attach and the other end attaches to our oxygen tank just like everything else that we've talked about. All right, so when we're looking at a handheld device, so what we want is a piece of our corrugated tubing, we have a mouthpiece, and then we have what we call a T-piece because it looks like a T, okay? Corrugated tubing, T-piece, so this slides right into here. This is where now the mouthpiece comes in. This is the part that's gonna go in the mouth, and now this is where we attach our chamber. So this now sits, and this is how this device looks, okay? So when we attach this to our oxygen tank, so now what we're looking for is when we turn this on, we're going to set our nebulizer between six and eight liters per minute. So six, seven, eight, any of those would be appropriate. Any higher, the problem is we're not gonna be able to create that aerosolize and the pressure is gonna kind of kick the O2 tubing off. And if it's too low, we're not gonna get the aerosol, um, the aerosolize that we want with the medication. So when we have our device, Turn the tank on. Set it up. We attach it to our chamber. And now we can start to see this is going to be where the patient is going to put to their mouth and they're going to breathe this in. And we can see that now it's causing the aerosolizing. So the oxygen goes through the, the liquid. It makes it into this mist that now they're able to breathe in. Okay? So this is, is one of the ways that we can assemble it. So the other way that we can deliver this, this nebulizer when we look at our albuterol, so we have a simple mask and we see this one doesn't have the reservoir bag. So this is now for our chamber. So that goes in, O2 tubing comes here. So now when we set this up, turn our tank, set it to our preferred meters. And now as we assemble So the same. So now what we can see is it's aerosolizing. The patient's now able to breathe this in. One of the benefits of this is it allows the patient more exposure to the medication. So one of the benefits with the nebulizer is it allows the patient more exposure to that medication. When we assist them with their meter dose inhaler, we now have somebody who's struggling to breathe, who's having that bronchospasm. And now what we're asking them to do is to take a deep breath, taking that puff of, of albuterol, and now we're asking them to hold their breath for as long as possible. The problem is when somebody's struggling to breathe, they're not gonna be able to hold their breath that long. So the nebulizer does a nice job of allowing them to get that medication, that same dose, over a longer period of time. So now they actually get more exposure to the medication and we start to see better relief. The other benefit with the nebulizer is they also get some supplemental oxygen. 
One of the things we can do if we're not using this for albuterol is we can use, you know, kind of like I did for the demonstration where we didn't use the medication, but now if we put saline, we use some of our normal saline or sterile water, now what we can do in that chamber is we can make a, um, you know, humidified oxygen. So humidified oxygen now, it's not as uh, abrasive as the cold, you know, dry medical grade oxygen. So certainly for children, elderly patients, any of our patients who are suffering from hypothermia, um, and you know, anyone who's on oxygen kind of all the time, giving them humidified oxygen is gonna be a little bit more tolerable. There's a lot of benefits to the nebulized medication. So it's better for the patient to get it over an extended period of time, some supplemental oxygen. We're able to give them some humidified oxygen, which is gonna be more tolerable, um, you know, a little bit, you know, uh, better patient care.